became a helpless thing, and turned all worlds your glory filled, not to be served, but to serve, and give your life that we might live. A very pleasant good afternoon and welcome to our noonday prayer. As we begin our devotion this week, let us, as always, observe a moment of silent prayer as we thank God for this moment, as we offer up to him this new work week, praying that he will guide us to take advantage of the opportunities he will give us to serve him and to serve others. Let us have a moment of silent prayer. God's love has been shed abroad in our hearts through the Holy Spirit he has given us. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Our reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, and beginning to read from verse 46. An argument arose among them, the disciples of his, as to which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, took a little child and put it by his side, and said to them, Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me, for the least among you all is the greatest. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he does not follow us, or follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not stop him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It ought not to surprise us that the disciples of Jesus would argue about who among them was the greatest. Or maybe the disciples, the real dispute among them was about who might have been Jesus' favorite disciple. This sort of thing happens quite often within groups as individuals jostle for positions of prominence, leadership, and authority. The response of Jesus is an expected one. He focuses on the importance of humility, a kind of innocence that is built on trust in God. By using the presence of a child, Jesus sought to draw the attention of the disciples to the model of leadership he exemplified for them, servant leadership. Yet, as we see in the remark of John in the Gospel reading, the issue of supremacy and preference was not limited to the inner circle. There was also concern for those who operated outside the circle. In this case, it was an individual who was working miracles in Jesus' name, but who was not recognized as belonging to the inner circle. This too disturbed the disciples, and they sought some clarification on the matter from Jesus. Once again, Jesus made the point that such issues need not concern the disciples. Not only was it not in their interest to be arguing among themselves as to who was the greatest, neither was it beneficial for them to believe that they were the only ones worthy of being used by God for the good of others. There is a great lesson in all this for us today as we carry on with the work God has given us to do. 
Let us not waste unnecessary energy trying to determine who is the best or greatest or most worthy. Instead, let us just get on with the work. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. O God, you declare your almighty power chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Grant us the fullness of your grace, that we running to obtain your promises, may become partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you are meek and humble of heart. We pray that you grant us the same meekness and humility, so that God may reveal to us those things he has hidden from the wise and the learned. Give us the right wisdom so that, despite our academic qualifications, we may remain childlike with hope, because it is through humility that we will be able to serve mostly the poor, sick, beggars, the blind, and other least of our brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ, deliver me, deliver us from the desire of being loved without loving back. Remove from us the desire of being praised by others. Help us, dear Lord, that we may desire others to be esteemed more than ourselves. We pray all this in Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. My sisters and brothers, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, my sisters and brothers, may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and grant us his peace. And the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and our loved ones near our far this day and remain with us always. Thank you.